When do we stall? And how many people are going to be here? Just this amount of people? These are like really important people. Okay, good evening and uh, welcome everybody. Welcome to this evening session of this uh, public inquiry. Um, for members of the public uh, who are joining us for, for the first time today, um, my, my name is um, Philip Stadden. I'm the planning inspector that the environment minister has appointed to uh, undertake this inquiry. And through the course of this week, um, I've been looking at the planning application with different topics. So we've, we've looked at um, uh, traffic issues, we've looked at drainage issues, we've looked at open spaces, and we've looked at the housing proposals. And what I do through the week is just explore those, those different topics. It's obviously a very big and complicated development, um, and it's obviously very important to the state's government that they make the right decision and uh, that they, they get this right, which is why they uh, have this public, public inquiry. I have undertaken a few other public inquiries in Jersey, and one of the things I've always tried to include is, uh, usually in the midweek, we have a session in the evening where um, it's pretty much open to any uh, submissions and questions. And the reason for that is that I fully understand that uh, not everybody can sit through um, days and days of uh, uh, a public inquiry. It does, does involve quite, quite a lot of uh, time commitment. And part of my job in making my report at the end of the day to the minister is to make sure that I've given everyone an opportunity to come along and tell me what I should think. And that's uh, one of the themes that I've, I've said to everybody through, through the sessions is I'm here, uh, I don't come here with any uh, preconceived views. I, 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 I listen to uh, what people have to say and I listen to uh, the evidence that they, they've put in front of me. I'm very pleased to welcome uh, Jersey Youth Parliament representatives who are going to speak first. I don't know if you'd just like to introduce yourselves. Um, hello, my name's Maria. Good. Thank you. And hello, uh, my name is Isa. <laughs> okay, lovely. Thank, thank you. Well, uh, I'm not sure what you, you, you're going to say, but when, when I... I have people attended inquiries. I do try and do my homework. So I've read what uh, the Youth Parliament submitted. I read your concerns about the, uh, the loss of the leisure facilities. I've read your concerns about uh, play. And I've also had a look at the Youth Parliament website and I understand uh, the role of the Parliament and I understand uh, how you're selected and uh, how you, you serve on that and how you're a voice that feeds into uh, the state's assembly. Uh, so I'm all ears and I'm very pleased to listen to you and uh, the floor is yours. Okay. We are the Right to Play campaign, campaign from the Jersey Youth Parliament. We as a group disagree with this plan. We believe this denies Article 31, the right to play and leisure. Leaving children with barely any place to play or relax, taking away major areas where youth hang out such as Cine World, Aqua Splash and Arcadia. We also believe that it denies Article 15, the right to meet with friends and join groups, 12, the right to have a voice and be listened to, and 27, the right to proper housing. Taking away these places mean that young people could have up to 10 years without places to meet up with friends. All of these flats are not suitable for families if all of them are one to two bedroom apartments. We do not need more flats, we need more homes for families. Getting rid of factors such as these only cause negative impact, such as clubs that use the pools. We have our rhetorical or stop. Many schools use these factors. There will be no entertainment for young people and experience. This doesn't benefit the people of the island's refuse it benefits the property investment who don't care about our island 
The lack of activity will stop children from being active or social. Children and young people served from survey from twenty twenty one says that only eighteen percent of children in Jersey are physical active. But after getting rid of these factors, that number will per permit. 39 of teens want to be better films, but it's not support, supporting this. The built-up area with flats will take away green spaces that people enjoy and animals live in. We often see rabbits running around by Le Frigate and they will lose their home. We do not think that Le Canave will be able to host all the people that use Aquasplash when it closes. We need a functional functioning swimming pool in St Helia. We cannot suffice without one. Many families enjoy spending holidays on the slides, which are only available at Aquasplash. Living on an island, it is so important that we learn to swim, but without facilities, young people will miss out. We support, we support the recon, recognition of uh, the waterfront fa factions to Fort Regent. And from these factions, raises from the cinema and KFC. They could be an ice ring building. If not, <coughs> sorry, if, if you can't move the cinema to the fort, then it could get moved to the old Ukrainian cinema building. We ask that you build the youth of Jersey factors first and then build other buildings. So what do we don't have to build the site as our play area? The, or, there is already a lack of things to do in Jersey for teenagers. We started our campaign. We had a look at what was available. The majority of things of, for young people are on the waterfront, and this could all possibly disappear. We recently had the Little Parliament event for children in year six, and they also, they were also really concerned about the waterfront plans. One person said, "For our age, we have Aqua Splash and the cinema, but they are gonna, they are gonna now make a." make it apartments and that leads to another thing the jersey government is making a lot of ap apartments and not enough houses there aren't as many places for young people to go to enjoy themselves they're getting demolished to make way for flats another group says we talk about knocking down the cinema stuff like most other groups did and we thought it wasn't fair because there aren't many places to go because the cinema is the place to go if it's raining and if you can hang out with your friends. Another, and another was concerned about how to build up Jersey. It's becoming, the, there's too much build up areas. So there is a lot of apartments in Jersey and not a lot of community buildings, but there's not enough schools. Fields, sports centers, entertainment. There's like the cinema, that's a nice place, but now that they're knocking it down, it would be nice if they put something different there. But because they're put, just putting apartments, soon the island will just be a whole island of apartments. No fields, just apartments. Please consider the children of Jersey and not take away something that is so well loved and used until a new factor has been built we ask you to put the put the children first thank you thank you very much well you you presented your views very clearly there and uh, this afternoon we uh, earlier earlier on this afternoon we we had um some discussions on these very issues um the you're probably aware that the uh, Jersey has a, a plan. It's called the, the Island Plan. And within that, there are lots of policies. And my job is to assess this development against those policies. 
Now, one of those policies that we talked about this afternoon says uh, that the cinema and the swimming pool uh, must be, uh, they must stay until an alternative is, is provided. And um, Mr. Henry over here, he's from the, uh, the, the applicants, the, the developers, and he gave us some assurances uh, that that uh, would be the case. Mr. Henry, would you be please just to run through um, what you said this afternoon and just, just explain and hopefully uh, give a little bit of comfort to uh, the Youth Parliament representatives? Certainly, sir. Thank you. And thank you very much for coming this evening and for, um, for, your, for your very, uh, very good speech. We um, fully recognise the need for ensuring that we continue to provide for the community um, as part of this development. Um, we are owned by the government of Jersey, and therefore we are effectively owned by, by you, the, the Jersey residents. Um, we recognise that the current aqua splash um, and, and cinema um, are very well used on the waterfront. Um, and as um, the inspector has referenced, there is a commitment that those buildings will not be uh, removed until an adequate alternative uh, provision is up and running. Um, what we can't, on the, on the cinemas, for example, um, it won't be a 10-screen multiplex in the future because there isn't the demand for that size of facility. But we recognise that the island needs a cinema, islanders want a cinema, um, but we've got to make sure that that cinema um, is, is, is a, an operation that can continue into the future um, from, a, from a financial perspective. Um, so we are working on establishing the requirements of the island, um, and we are tasked now with finding a solution in terms of whether that, as you referenced, um, whether that be at Fort Regent. But if, if it isn't to be at Fort Regent, then we will need to provide another site for that cinema um, before we can close the existing facility. Um, with regards to the, the aqua splash, um, the, uh, the proposals include um, a new Lido swimming pool, which is effectively an, an outdoor swimming pool. However, during the, um, to, to enable the redevelopment of the, um, of the Aquasplash building, which will still provide um, a 25-metre uh, swimming pool, um, we will put a, a cover, um, a housing, over that outdoor pool for the period of the, the build of the new pool. So there won't be a loss of a swimming pool um, for St. Helier. We recognise that that pool is very well used um, in terms of the schools that use the swimming pool, the Learn to Swim programme, um, and also people lane swimming and just having, having fun in, in the swimming pool. Um, so that swimming pool provision will be reprovided with, a, with an enclosed pool that enclosure will be in existence for possibly three years during the, the build period, two and a half to three years during the build period for the new pool. But the aqua splash um, pool, where, it, where, where the pool currently is located, um, there will still be, an, in the future, um, an indoor pool there um, with a gym. And we're discussing with the government exactly what their requirements are for the swimming provision. So there could, for example, be a dedicated um, learning teaching pool um, as part of that um, uh, as part of that new complex. We're also talking with government whether they would want the existing pool to remain a six-lane 25-meter pool, or whether it should be an eight-lane 25-meter pool, which would make it a, available for competitions um, that presently. Uh, we can't host those competitions within, within St. Helier. Um, and finally, we've been engaging with um, sports clubs, for example, the Water Polo Club, um, who have highlighted that they can't use the pool at the moment for competitions because there isn't um, a, a movable floor at the shallow end. So on a water polo match, you need to have a certain depth of water so that you can't touch the bottom um, with your feet because that's cheating. Um, so, they, so it's ensuring that we're providing for everybody um, 
uh, all of the users of that pool in that, in that new facility. Um, and we'd be very, I know that unfortunately we, we, uh, we couldn't um, organise dates um, following your, your written submission. Um, I believe um, a member of my team has been in, in touch um, with, uh, with, with the uh, organisers of the Youth Parliament to try and organise um, a meeting. Um, and we would like to you know, commit to con engaging with you um, as we advance these, these proposals. But we're very much focused on the community. We're very much focused on children and ensuring that we provide the right play provision as part of this scheme, uh, both internally in the buildings um, and externally in the new parks um, and, and outdoor pool that we're proposing. Okay, well, I, I hope that gives you a little bit of comfort, um, what, what you've heard there. Um, is there anything more you want to say to us? Um, it's, uh, well, thank you ever so much for coming along. It's really important that we hear everybody's views, and uh, we are really grateful that you have uh, taken the time to present to us, and uh, you made your submissions very clearly. Thank you. You can. If you ask the question, then we can just check. No, it's just, it's just, are they all going to be just factual? This is, um, I, I don't know how to say it, uh, but because it's, it's, it's recorded, so it's, I'll just speak loudly. Well, <laughs> no, could, could, could we, could we organise a chair for Mr. Mr. McCarthy. Does that mic? Can you use this one? Sorry, you, you're not in a rush to go somewhere, I hope. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Here you go. We've all been children, <laughs> so we've been where you are. <laughs> um, Mr. McCarthy, rem remember you're talking to me in the thing. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. But, but I don't like to turn my. I'm asking. Go ahead. Thank you. Ah, right. Well, thank you. And I absolutely agree with you. Absolutely. Now, my background is that I'm a Jerseyman. I was born in the island. And I grew up thinking Jersey was the very best place in the world. I really did. Better than everything. And it was. You know, it looked after people. There was a great community. You had beach. And fun, and as you say, you had places to meet. And as the island grew, grew um, I also grew. And then I went overseas. I went, you know, to, to school and university. And I studied engineering. And engineering, the great skill about engineering is you predict the future. So we have computers that predict. And we can say, if you do this, this is going to happen. You do this. So if you a plank, and I say, you walk over that plank. It's going to snap, and you're going to fall, you know, fall, fall to the centre of the earth. Or you walk over this other plank, and you won't, you'll be safe. And that's what engineering is about. Now, when we then, of course, we got sustainability. And in in, in ninety two, Mr. Uh, Mr. McCarthy, I was happy for you to ask a oh, question. I don't I just I really, I really don't want you to give them a lecture. No, no, no. I want to give you some background of who I am. That I just sort of appeared. But I want to stress that sustainability is our lifeline, and in 92, and I want to, one of the projects is Daltry School, you, or, it's Whole Valley School now, do you know it? Do you like that school? I go there. You go there, the buildings, and you can see each building, you can say that's the theatre building, and that's the teacher, that's the science block, it's a little village, and it's designed for children. Now, and it's really important, you've got happy children, you've got happy teachers, and it all feeds off. And Jersey delivered one of the very best schools in the world. And that school I've replicated throughout the UK. For the, now, so Jersey does the best. And when the, the swimming pool that you, you, you want to protect, um, there's an architect here who will tell you more about that, it, they had to find where to build the very best place to place a swimming pool and to place a cinema 
and all the other facilities. So they had anywhere they could put it, and they particularly chose that spot. And the reason why they chose that spot is because it has sunlight from sunrise to sunset. They chose that spot because a swimming pool, an indoor swimming pool, has to have air conditioning because it's very humid. And what they did was say, well, we'll put it somewhere where we can enclose it. But of course, what they chose the site, because there was, it's a very busy road and very noisy. So it's better to put a building where it's noisy that you don't have to open the windows. So the locate and the same, obviously, for the cinema. You don't open the windows in the cinema because it's enclosed. So the place they put it environmentally is the very best place in town. Now, of course, anybody can say, oh, why don't we just demolish it and put in some blocks of flats? But I would say, why would you do that? Because if you put flats with balconies facing a busy road, that's, the air's polluted, you, that's very noisy at night, people aren't going to sleep. So what we have to do then is close the windows. Mr McCarthy, this is turning into a lecture. No, 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 I'm just trying to... Is it OK? Am I, what I'm saying, is it OK? Or? As long as it's OK with them. Mm? As long as it's OK with them. It's, it's fine with us. Mm? It's fine with us. Mm. Is there a question? Okay. Well, you, you know, I, I give Mr. McCarthy a lot of slack in these in inquiries. Um, one of the rules of the inquiries is that uh, people who are speaking address me. Mr. McCarthy has, throughout a number of days now, tried. Uh, he doesn't address me. Look at look, look, how, how he's sitting here, and his contributions. They. They do tend to repeat, and nothing I'm hearing from him is, is new. Now, I, I'm really pleased that the representatives of the Youth Parliament have come along this evening, um, and I've listened very carefully to what they've had to say. Um, I hesitated when Mr Carthy said, can I ask a question, because I thought this might happen. Um, he has tried to steal the show. He's put his chair there where he's not facing me. He's not talking to me. Um, he is trying to uh, make a case which he's had ample opportunity to make on many occasions in the last few days. And I think it's really unfair on these young people that have come here this evening. So, Mr McCarthy, I'm going to say to you now, if you want to ask them a question, ask them a question. Please, can you just do that? Um, was it OK what I said to you? Yeah. No, no, Mr. McCarthy, um, you're not listening to me. Yes, I'm you're not listening to me. Um, I, I'm not facilitating a conversation between you and the Youth Parliament representative. If you want to have that conversation, you can do so outside this inquiry. Now, if you want to ask them a question about the evidence that they've given, their submissions, well, please do so. Do you know... You, you you started off on your presentation on your rights, children's rights. And I hope that, that, that you can um, give them the support to exercise those human rights, children's rights, because there's a lot of people in the island who will support you all the way through. And that's, that's so, so you understand what, what your children's rights are. The other thing I want to help you with is to understand the island plan. Do you, would, you know, do you understand what the island plan is? Have you been, has anybody explained the island plan to you? We have done some work. Yeah. Good. Okay, well, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Mr McCarthy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you for your contribution. It's been really helpful. Have a nice rest of the day. Thank you. You too. Enjoy the evening. Bye-bye. Uh, Mr McCarthy, that was out of order. All right. Um, is there anybody else that wishes to 
speak this evening. She can't make it, apparently. I think we should let you have a night off. <laughs> and this is, I mean, we really had to cover a lot of ground, didn't we? Great. Yes. Okay, well, if there's nobody else that uh, wishes to speak, um, we'll close for the day and uh, back at uh, 9.30 in the morning for those who are returning. Thank you.